Welcome everyone again to another youth ministry training video here at Life and Student Ministry. I'm Tim Schmoyer. I'm the author here. And I know normally I start these videos out by telling you what's coming up on Friday on our live youth ministry conversation. But I can't today because I ran into some scheduling conflicts with some people. and uh, So anyway, um, I don't really know what's going on. We are having, having it this Friday, but I don't really know exactly uh, what the topic is or who's going to be a featured guest or whatever. But keep your eye on timschmoyer.com and live YM talk uh, there at the top. You see it says YM talk. Click on that. That has a schedule. You can listen to past episodes there as well. Uh, of what we're going to be talking about this Friday, live, all together in a big kind of conference call thing. But um, So that'll be to be determined. Uh, but right now, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. I actually just met him a couple weeks ago. His name is Brian Eberly. We've been uh, in touch for probably years. He's a he's another a really cool youth worker. You guys should get to know it on his site. And he's going to bring you uh, the youth ministry training here today at Life and Student Ministry. So here's, here's Brian. <laughs> Hey, my name is Brian Everly. I'm the family pastor here at Grace Point Community Church in Tigard, Oregon. And when I think about uh, one of the most important things in youth ministry, uh, one of the first thing that, things that come to my mind is the importance of investing in your staff, investing in your leadership, and, and understanding that, that you as, as the leader, you as the youth pastor, youth director, uh, are not going to be able to, to be all things to all students and be able to, to do uh, all that is needed to connect with the students. So one of the things that, that I have done that I really think is, is the key uh, to our success is I have set up, I've, I've divided our students into what I call shepherd groups and I've assigned each group uh, an adult leader and I call them shepherd leaders and, and I tell them, I equip them to, to, to see that they are the primary uh, shepherds of those students. I essentially tell them you're pastoring those kids uh, there's no way that I, as one person, can can effectively do that to all of our students. Um, certainly, I can't do that with with the and, and I can't do that with all of them. So, uh, helping uh, our staff to to really catch a vision for um, being the chief shepherds and disciplers of our students is is really the key thing. Um, I, I I really believe that that's the stuff that makes a difference. That's the stuff that's really going to matter. Uh, our students are not going to remember all of the, the wonderful uh, lessons that we've spent hours preparing, uh, but they will remember the relationships. They will remember that one adult leader who, who cared enough about them to notice that they weren't there on a particular evening or a Sunday morning and, and, and reach out to them and connect with them and let them know, hey, I, I miss seeing you. Uh, I just want to check in with you, see how things are, are going. Uh, I think that, that really is is the most important thing and, and uh, I, I tell I tell my staff I want every kid every student in our group to know that they've got at least one dedicated fan one adult in this group that uh, is totally uh, there for them that is looking out for them that cares for them an adult that that student knows that they can go to when they've got a problem when they're struggling with life uh, or when life is great they can celebrate with that person but I want every student to know that they've got at least one dedicated fan, one adult in that ministry, in our ministry, that, that just digs on them and, and cannot wait to see them and find out about their life and what's going on and make that connection. Um, so I really believe that's perhaps the, the single most important uh, part uh, in, in student ministry. It obviously is the relationships and, and, and coming along students and that one-on-one -on -one relationship and, and, and discipling them and, and being able to say, hey, follow me as, as I follow Christ. Let's journey through this life together as followers of Christ. And, and to know that every student has at least one adult who's completely looking out for them uh, really is, is one of the most important things that we do, and, and at least a, a hugely important thing that I would want to encourage uh, any of you to do. If, if you don't already have that set up, boy, make that a priority. Make it a priority to, to make sure that every one of your students has that at least one close relationship with one of your adult volunteers. <laughs> Thanks for that video, Brian. And guys, seriously, if you haven't checked out his site, do so. And he's just got tons of great ideas and things that he's doing at his church. He's got some really good ideas about how to have the whole family come together in, in ministry. 
uh, having a more holistic approach rather than having the youth ministry and the children's ministry and the adult ministry and how we can kind of minister the entire family as a whole. And so they're doing some really cool new stuff and some of those things I'm even going to be taking and implementing in our own ministry and working with our own pastors at my, the staff at my church too to kind of do some of the things that Brian's trying out. So check out his site. I just think it's awesome that you guys would want to uh, record your own videos and send them in to me. Please continue to do that. I think it's just such a great way for us all to learn from each other rather than just listening to me just talk. I love to hear what you guys are doing and what God's teaching you in ministry. So please, if, if you would like to have your video in here, just send it to me at tim at schmoyer.net is my email email address. Again, that is tim at schmoyer, S-C-H-M-O-Y-E-R.net. Send them to me, and I love to, to put them in here. Just keep them brief and simple, no editing or anything, and um, I would just love to have you. All right. Today, I'm going to give away another resource as usual, and today it is this uh, one-minute Bible uh, student edition for uh, it's uh, 366 devotions for daily living for teenagers. Uh, again, same rules apply. This will I'll send this for free to the first person who uh, comments below this video at timschmoyer.com and says, "Hey, I could use that. I have a student in my ministry who I that would be perfect for. Can you just please send it to me?" And uh, guys, every week I'm just giving away this stuff because I got tons of resource sitting around in my youth. Uh, storage closet at church and I'm not using it so I'm just going to give to anybody who can so if you can use this um, just comment below let me know and I'll email you if you're the first one and get your address and uh, and I'll ship it to you free of charge thanks to uh, teenlifeministries.com again guys I've said this before and if you haven't checked them out go ahead and do that at teenlifeministries.com they just have like thousands and thousands of of uh, youth lessons, of Bible lessons, and PowerPoint games, and an active uh, forum community where you can ask questions, and just lots of training resources you can use with your adult leaders, just tons of stuff, and that's all for 10 bucks a month, teenlifeministries.com, check them out, and they're the ones who are going to be sponsoring all the free shipping for these books and all these resources to you guys, so check them out and uh, say thanks to them. That's all we got for this week, thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to hanging out with you guys again next week, have a great week.